What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and I got a special request. Somebody was asking me how to set up a shopkeeper and how to use switches. So I'm going to make this video super short, super quick and really simple. Um, this is for you, Josia Galicia. Galicia. Sorry if I messed your name up. But it's real easy. The first thing you're going to do is go to your event layer. And then you're going to right click and you're going to insert new. And then you're going to you're going to insert uh, insert a new event and now you're going to give your shopkeeper uh, an image uh, a graphic. So it doesn't matter which one you want, just pick any one. Um, let's find somebody who looks like a shopkeep. This guy right here will do. We're going to pick one of those and then we're going to insert uh, new in the contents and we're going to say show text. And we're going to say welcome to the shop. Want to see my wares? We're going to hit OK. Um, I'll, you can also change where the uh, where the, the message will pop up. If you want it to be at the bottom, it's right here, middle and top. Um, I usually go at the bottom when somebody's talking. And then if it's like an information like you found this or um, you've acquired this, sometimes I'll put it in the middle. And as for the background, I usually go with window if it's, if it's somebody talking. And I'll do dim if it's like... Uh, uh, it's like a bigger moment, you know, so it stands out a little bit different. But you can always preview that too. All right, and th the next thing you're going to do is you're going to right click and insert new, and then you're going to input um, shop processing. It's on the third panel under scene control. So you click shop processing, and then it's going to bring up a merchandise right here. So you uh, right click in here and you edit, and then you can select what do you want him to sell. So we're going to have him sell a potion right here. And then you can, uh, the, when you make an item in the database, I'll show you that real quick, um, you can select the price for it. So under items, you see your potion would be all the way at the top. It'll show you the price right here. So if you select standard, it's going to go with this price. But you can have like a, a special merchant who's got discounted price. You could put him like in the middle of a maze or something. And if you can find him, he sells you stuff at like 50% off or whatever. So you can edit the price. Uh, by specifying, oh, this is a special merchant, he's going to sell it for 10% off, um, or however you want to do it, or he's in the middle of town and he's a he's a filthy haggler and he sells everything for 10% more, so he's going to say it's 55 for potions for me. Uh, and you can also have it so that um, he only buys items, he doesn't sell items. If you want him to, to sell items and not purchase anything, uh, he won't buy your stuff, like your extra loot, then you select purchase only. If you want him to be able to buy your stuff so you can unload all your junk to him, then you uncheck purchase only. Um, same thing for weapons. You just select a weapon you want, and you can select standard price. And by default, when uh, you want to, if you're not, you don't have to keep referencing your database every, between every items. When you switch item, it should show you the value that's in the database uh, by default there. So a halberd would normally be three thousand. Spear will be one hundred. So you don't have to keep referencing. Most of the time, I'll just keep standard in there. And then let's put a piece of armor, too. Okay, we'll put hard leather armor in there as well. And then hit OK. So, And that's basically it for setting up a, a shop. You don't need to really control any switches at all. You just insert a new event. You give the, a graphic. You put a little text thing. And then at, at the end, you can have another text box saying, Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Or whatever you like, you know, that's all flavor. So we'll test it out now. We're going to right click uh, next to, the, to the, in the event we just created, our shopkeeper. We're going to go to set starting point, click on player, and there you are. So we're going to save the game and test it out. When you go to new game, you should be right next to him. And then we hit enter. Welcome to the shop. Want to see my wares? There you are, you have a, a buy and sell. Of course, we don't have any items by starting. But if we did, we'd be able to sell them to him. And then there he is, selling the three items. Obviously, the, the graphics, uh, these are the default items for VX Ace, the potion, the spear, and the hard leather. I don't use them in my game, so I haven't set the, the pictures for them. Um, I use the, the VX converter to MV to, to transfer my game over. So starting right here, uh, on item 17 down is all custom stuff that I've made it look like it's supposed to look. Uh, but everything above that, all the, the built-in items that comes with uh, VX Ace I don't use, so I haven't even uh, messed with those. But basically that's it.
that's going to do it for this video. This uh, this was for you, Josia. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but uh, really simple, really easy. Hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Get your friends to subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.